The Philippine Navy is set to shift its focus towards local construction of ships for its future naval procurements, marking a departure from its previous strategy of solely procuring foreign-built vessels. This decision, as reported by the Philippine Navy, entails that foreign shipbuilders must agree to technology transfer and local construction of the ships. While shipbuilders usually agree to technology transfer and local construction, this approach often results in higher project costs and longer delivery timeframes. The transfer of technology itself is an expensive process, and local construction can lead to inefficiencies, particularly if the local shipbuilder lacks experience in building warships. However, there are several advantages to this shift in strategy. Local shipbuilders will gain valuable experience in warship construction, eventually enhancing their efficiency and capability. In time, they may even progress to designing their own ships, as evidenced by Indonesia's PT PAL. Beginning with the technology to build landing platform docks from South Korea, PT PAL has since constructed more than eight similar ships, not only for the Indonesian Navy but also for the Philippine Navy and now for the UAE Navy as well. Yet, there are risks associated with this endeavor. Firstly, the continuity of orders is crucial to enable local shipbuilders to invest in building warships locally. Secondly, the continuity of local shipbuilders themselves, along with their retention of the technology required for shipbuilding, is essential. This is particularly pertinent as all local shipbuilders are private entities and not state-owned, unlike PT PAL. To support this shift, there have been suggestions for the re-establishment of the National Shipbuilding and Steel Corporation or NASCO, which existed until the 1960s. This would complement the Naval Shipbuilding Center in Cavite and other private local shipbuilders. Currently, the Naval Shipbuilding Center may be limited in its capacity, capable of constructing ships no larger than 50 meters long and primarily focusing on patrol boats and landing crafts. Recent experiences have highlighted challenges in implementing local construction requirements. During the tenure of former Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana, the Philippine Navy's offshore patrol vessel acquisition project was awarded to South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries. While the project initially called for local construction of at least four of the six ships, HHI did not agree to this, despite other shipbuilders like Austal, Bangkok Dock, Asphalt, Naval Group, and Damon offering to build their OPVs locally. Eventually, the local construction requirement was removed, and HHI won the project. This experience has led to disappointment among several foreign shipbuilders. Many are now less interested in Philippine Navy projects, especially those with local construction requirements. However, this shift towards local construction could potentially revitalize the local shipbuilding industry, bringing long-term benefits to the Philippine Navy and the country as a whole. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the Philippine Navy and defense industry. Also, leave a comment below letting us know your thoughts on the shift towards local construction of ships. Until next time, stay safe and take care. This is Philippi News, signing off.